She is easily the best player in San Antonio Stars history. Some like to call her the Tim Duncan of the WNBA, but she prefers a different name, Becky or Coach Hammond if you're in a formal mood. Her reputation on the court is elite. She ranks in the top 10 all time in points, assists, three pointers and free throw percentage. In other words, she good and she was recognized for it tonight. Just moments ago in the AT&T Center, Becky Hammond had her number 25 Stars jersey retired. During her career, she was a six time All-Star, led the league in assists in 2007 and was a member of the All-League team four different times. She remains the franchise leader in several different categories, including points per game. And now her jersey will hang over the Stars court forever. It's a very fitting end to an all-time great career. As you all know, um, you know San Antonio. They don't. They don't play. They only give stuff that they feel um, you've earned and is merited. So, um, again, I just feel blessed and, and humbled that uh, you know they chose to honor me in this way, and um, they feel that my name deserves to be up there with those other guys. Now, before the Jersey retirement, look who we found. Megan Simmons, a former Steel Knight. She now plays for the Atlanta Dream. It is good to see Megan back in her hometown for this game. And oh, what a game it was. Things were tied at 63 in the fourth until Kayla McBride gets that shot to touch every part of the rim before falling through. Some might call it luck. I just call that a shooter's touch. Then San Antonio up three with just seconds to go. Atlanta forces that bad shot. Of course, it comes up short. The Stars get a win tonight, 73 to 69. It is their third win of the season. Now, staying with basketball, so far this summer, the Spurs fans I've talked to, they don't want to talk at all about the current team. Instead, they just want to talk about this guy and whether he'll be moving to San Antonio anytime soon. Now, in the spirit of honesty, I'll let you know that I told each and every one of those fans, no, I don't think Kevin Durant is going anywhere. But news that broke late last night and early this morning made it seem like if he does leave OKC, San Antonio has a better shot than most to land him. In fact, the only three teams that have face to face meeting secured with Durant are the Thunder, the Warriors, and yes, your San Antonio Spurs. The Thunder are still the favorites to keep the former Longhorn. The Warriors are back to back Western Conference champs, so that has to mean something. But as we learned last year with another former Longhorn, LaMarcus Aldridge, you can never count out the silver and black and all that preparation that their front office does all year long. We've been building scenario planning for all, not just this season, but for every season you have a, a variety of scenarios that you hope you can execute on. I think we'll be ready to answer the questions that are posed to us to hopefully uh, find pieces that can help us build a competitive team. Huh. In other words, they want Durant bad and they've wanted him for a long time. KD is clearly the top free agent target for the Spurs, but San Antonio will also try to sell guys like Mike Connolly and Pau Gasol on the idea of a future with the silver and black. Now, instead of a sales pitch that they can give to Tim Duncan, the team has decided to take the wait and see approach, putting the ball squarely in Tim's court. And if we're being honest, he has more than earned that. It was 19 years ago today that we saw a near seven footer from the Virgin Islands walk across the stage as the Spurs first round draft pick. On that day, I'm not sure anyone expected him to have the amazing Hall of Fame career that he's had. He's been a five time champion, a two time MVP, a 15 time all star. That list goes on and on. And and now, Tim is facing one of the toughest decisions of his career. Will he retire or will he return for another season with the silver and black? The clues are starting to tell us that he might be back for one more run. ESPN reporting that Coach Pop and Tim will fly to meet Kevin Durant when free agency begins. And I don't know many NBA stars who would do that unless they were planning on returning and playing alongside that free agent. That also means there's a chance that 40-year-old Tim Duncan could play next year alongside 19-year-old DeJounte Murray. Now, if you're looking for a reference point for that age gap, the day Duncan was drafted, DeJounte had just turned nine months old. He's obviously done some growing up since then, and that's why the Spurs drafted him in the first round on Thursday. We've already told you about his great size and quickness, but his best trait for the NBA might be his Spur-like work ethic. Like I said, I never get comfortable. You know, I could be a great shooter. Uh, I'll never stop shooting. Like Steph Curry, he's a great shooter. I'm pretty sure he still works on it every day, countless hours. So, you know, I feel like I got to work on everything, you know, farthest getting bigger, getting stronger, and uh, on the basketball end, just working on everything. 
We expect DeJounte to take the court with the Spurs Summer League team, so we could see him in action as soon as next month. To baseball, where it's College World Series time, and TCU found itself in comeback mode last night. Sadly for the Horned Frogs, their comeback against Coastal Carolina fell short, meaning another loss tonight would end their season. They started things off the right way, though. Oh, look at that. Love taps for the pitcher. Got to knock some sense into them so that doesn't happen. Coastal Carolina with a homer in the second. That puts them up early. It was three zip in the fourth, and here come the Frogs. Elliot Barzili with a one-run RBI. That made it a two-run game, but Coastal Carolina just dominated the fourth inning. They scored four runs in that inning alone. TCU falls in this one 9-7, to seven, and they are now officially eliminated from the college. College World Series. And guys, that brings us to the best video I saw all day. A fan at the TCU game gets involved in an intense steering contest with the cameras. Now, I've seen professional athletes with less dedication to their craft than this young man has to him. Look at him, eyes straight forward, no smiles, all business. Check this out, he even throws in a few shoulder shrugs and some eyebrow action just in case the ladies are watching. I mean, the fundamentals, those are exquisite. There is no other way to put it except for to say this kid is the Tim Duncan of steering contest. That's how you do it right there. Don't mess with him. I love don't it. Don't win. All right. We'll be right back, people. Right back.